Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. I'm back in the beautiful mountains of West Virginia. And this video is an update on my off-grid solar power upgrade project. We finally got my three KU-265 solar panels mounted. These panels will replace the array that's currently on the roof of the retreat location. You really can't see them very well. But right there I have 300 watts worth of panels and it's just not enough. So this is going to get me close to 900 watts of charging capacity up here at the retreat location. The plan is to bring the battery box, the charge controller, and the inverter to the site up here in a little building and then run the AC voltage down to the house. We put the panels on a custom mount made by WholesaleSolar.com and I'll put a link down below in the description box for all these products, the panel and the mount. But I have to say I'm very impressed with WholesaleSolar.com's mount. It is a solid mount, but it still only took less than two hours to get it all together and get the panels mounted. So I'll walk around the back here so you can see the business end of this mount and the panels. Right now I have the three panels connected together in series so I can do a continuity test to make sure the panels are putting out voltage. And right there I have a classic Simpson 260 voltmeter and the panels are putting out just a little bit above 100 volts. So that's what I'm looking for. We got the right voltage, there's no opens in the circuit, there's no shorts, the panels are good. And putting them together in series temporarily allows me to take advantage of the weatherproofing in the connectors while I wait to get everything set up up here. So this is where we're going to wrap up this weekend with this project. We're going to put some baggies around the end of those open connections. And the next trip is to mount the combiner box for these three panels. I ordered this from MidnightSolar.com. It comes with three DC breakers, of course a panel, a schematic for wiring it up, and the plan is to mount this on the pipe in some kind of weatherproof housing to protect it from the elements and protect it from the critters and the bugs. So that's just a short update, what we've been working on here out at the retreat location, progressing with this upgrade project for the off-grid solar power project. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a short update and a beautiful weekend in the mountains of West Virginia. Thanks for watching, guys.